Alright, hi Libra and welcome back to my channel. Alright, this is actually going to be a pop-up love reading for Libra, the Empress. Alright, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Venus especially. Alright, so um, for those of you who are new, these love readings are very detailed. Alright, first we get uh, your energy, your higher self, what your uh, higher self is thinking about the person, the relationship. You on a more mature, um, enlightened level and then we see... Who's coming towards you? What they do for work? Um, how are you meeting them? Like, where are you meeting this person? How are you encountering them? And why? Why are they approaching you or why are they coming towards you? And the important message, I am going to replace these love oracle cards because they're a little bit sappy to me and they're kind of boring with kink cards. So we're going to pull a kink card for each uh, person so you can get, you can learn something kind of kinky and freaky about this person person prior to meeting them or this if this is someone that you're currently dating uh, it'll help you get some insight on like their kinky side a little bit all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm excited ah. all right libra sun moon rising north node and venus all right pop up love okay so let's see your energy all right regarding this connection your higher self all right, if you're more, if, uh, if the higher you could speak, what would it say about this connection, this person that's coming towards you, Libra? All right, the Empress. All right. Okay, let's see, your energy. Wow, the lovers. Okay, so I feel like your higher self feels like this relationship will be very good for you. I'm getting it's filled with intimacy and like real love. All right, intercourse, a lot of communication, deep, there's a very deep connection here. So I feel like your higher self is in love with this person, all right? The lover's card is a very impactful relationship. It's kind of like a dynamic duo, strong Gemini energy. So it could be a Geminian, all right? And then we also have the chariot at the bottom and then we have the chariot uh, showing up here. So I feel like somebody's making a major move towards you. Uh, I feel like someone's going to move into your neighborhood, into your building, but in close proximity, closer to you. I'm also getting to somebody's moving in. They want to be closer, okay? Somebody wants to be more than friends. They feel something. All right, so I feel like somebody's moving in. They're moving on you, Libra. All right. So the, the, uh, the lover's card is usually instant, all right? It's something that you feel right away immediately with someone. All right, so I'm getting this person feels very familiar to you. The, uh, the connection's strong. It's, it's instantaneous, all right? Or at least it's how you feel anyways. All right, their higher self. But I'm getting Libra. You may feel that everyone's connected to you. Everyone always feels like this about you. Like, of course, like, all right, so the lover's card. There's a strong connection here, okay? All right, so their higher self, their energy towards you, the full card. Wow, so they are they are coming at you. So I feel like this person is coming at you full force. Yeah, there, there's that chariot card again. They're either they're I feel like they're moving towards you actually physically. They're making a major move towards you. They're going to move into your state or into your neighborhood, into your building, or they just moved in recently, or they are like they're they are they're taking a huge leap of faith and they're going to say something to you. They want to talk to you. All right, I feel like the feeling is mutual here between the two of you. This is, this is somebody brand new. It's a brand new connection. All right, it doesn't feel brand new, but it is the full card. All right, someone, someone's going to shoot their shot. All right, shit. All right, cool. So let's see who they are. I feel like this is someone who's a very free spirit. I'm, I'm already getting Aquarius energy. All right, this is someone who takes risks. They could be somewhat of a thrill seeker. They like to do spontaneous things right away, okay? So they could be coming over the ch with the chariot. All right, let's see. All right, let's see who they are. We have the king of pentacles. Wow, so they are a kingpin. All right, so I feel like somebody definitely, the king of pentacles is definitely somebody who is well off, established. They're very accomplished in their career. If this is somebody in the military, I'm getting like somebody with, with ribbons, bows. They have a lot of achievements that are displayed on their uniform. I forget what they're called. I think they're called ribbons or bows or something like that or whatever they are. I feel like this person is uh, very, not honored, but um, distinguished is a good word. So let's just go with that one. But very well off. This is somebody who actually wears like suit jackets. They wear suit jackets like every day or blazers. They like to be, they dress business casual every single day. Everywhere they go, they, they're always dressing business casual. They're always ready for business. All right, they come off as a businessman or a businesswoman. This is how they come off. Very business up, light, business acumen. The five of cups. All right. 
but they're a little bit somber, sad, morbid. They have like a morbid disposition or a sad disposition. Maybe they all, they have very sad eyes. All right, let's see what else. I'm getting to, this is someone who's very good with their hands. They like to fix things and make things and remake things and reinvent things. Okay, they're very good with their hands. All right, I'm getting, they like, they like to work with maybe metal or gold coins. This could be somebody who's, who, um, who made a lot of money with Bitcoins or they made a lot of money investing. All right, I feel like somebody's really good with money. Okay, they know how to flip uh, money and things like that. Okay, what else? I feel like they are the head of something, okay? Their favorite color is green. They, they do like to wear green, very earth, earthly tones. Okay, let's see. Let, I wanna get more characteristics. I'm getting somebody who does have facial hair. This looks like somebody who's Arabic, Peruvian. Of course, they could be Caucasian, but I'm getting they're mixed with something, like they're, they're Irish, but they have like, I'm definitely getting like Jewish or something like that. They have like scruffy hair or scruffy beard or they have their hair's like curly or real coarse, but they're fair skinned, all right? But I'm, I'm definitely getting like, if they are Caucasian, there's something else that they're mixed with or that they're made of. All right, let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they're very, they're very business savvy. I feel like most of their, most of what they talk about or most of what they're into is involving money or investments. Okay, so they're, they love their money. I'm getting that they could be very materialistic. All right, I'm getting this person too. They wear contacts or shades. They, even when they're indoors, they like to wear shades. They like to cover their eyes. This is someone who likes to co cover their eyes or they like to cover their face. So I feel like if this is, um, during the pandemic, this is someone who always wears their mask. They actually like, they actually enjoy their face being covered. So this is someone who they, they hide a lot about themselves. They're very secretive. All right, all they have is their secrets. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot just from these two cards. Especially the fact that they like to hide their eyes and their face. It tells me they like to hide who they are from the world, okay? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Okay, the Nine of Wands. Because they, they're very insecure, actually. All right. They're very insecure, and they get very irritated by people, commoners. So it definitely could be an El Capitan, but they're very picky. They're very choosy. They don't trust at all. They, don't, they trust no one. All right. It takes a lot to get to this person. They're kind of impenetrable. All right, because they have tr they have severe trust issues. Yeah, we have the ten of swords. They're very they're someone of very few words. The six of pentacles, but they're very generous. All right, so this is this is like someone. I feel like this person is very machismo. If it's a guy, I'm getting if it's a female, she's also machismo, but it's subtle. All right, or is it the word subtle? All right, but I, I feel like this is somebody of very few words. They only speak when they have to, and they speak very little even then. All right. I feel like, too, when this person does speak, they blow your mind. They say mind-blowing things, or they give you incredible advice. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords, please? I'm getting to, this is someone who just recently cut their hair bald. They were they were their hair bald. They only let their hair get so long, and they, they cut it off again. Okay, so I'm getting this. This is someone who definitely keeps their hair cut short. Okay, male or female. That this is someone who actually prefers to wear their hair short. Like I said, yeah, they, this, if this is a female, she likes to wear her hair short. That's how she prefers it. She likes it like that. All right. Okay, let's see one more card. Or to, if it's a male, same thing. The Four of Cups. So this, I feel like this person, yeah, Nine of Cups, this person has what they want in life. They know how to get what they want. They have more than enough. Like I said, they're very generous, but they're bored. They get bored with what, with what they have because I feel like they do have a lot. All right. We have the Nine of Cups. All right. They like to drink. This is like someone who can't just have one glass. They have like four or five or more. They like to be sauced, drunk, tipsy. Okay. Maybe like every day. I feel like it is a habit or it's becoming a habit, them drinking. All right. One more card here. I feel like, too, they drink because, you know, their insecurities, they don't want to think about their feelings, their emotions, like, all right, I'm getting, so I'm getting there's a Pisces somewhere in here, someone who, like, someone who likes to escape, all right, let's see, and we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Six of Cups, they're very sweet, though, I feel like they're very, uh, this, so this person's kind of an enigma, I feel like they are affectionate in close quarters, you have to be close to them for them to be affectionate with you. All right, but I feel like in just in just everyday conversation, they're very sweet. They have a very sweet disposition, although it's very serious and very businesslike. It's still very sweet and a little bit welcoming. But 
I feel like this person lets you know that they don't trust people. You can just tell. It's like they they're just they they have their walls up. You just you can you can tell. All right. So I feel like all right. Let's see. What do they do for work? What do they do for work? So I'm getting someone who's a little bit shrewd. All right. All right. What do they do for work though? I feel like they're not they're not unattractive, but they're not real sexy or real handsome. They're kind of like average looking, but they're cute. All right. They have like a cute face. All right. They're cute, okay? They're, they're, this, I'm getting like daddy energy or like sugar daddy or like, you know, someone who's like very old fashioned, old fashioned rich, rich guy or rich girl, okay? Okay, what do they do for work? Like they work for the establishment, shit like that. They're, they're very industrial. Oh, the star card, so someone's an influencer. Oh, okay, so I feel like somebody isn't, now the star card is somebody who's an influencer, somebody with 100K or more subscribers on any given, any given platform, or an actual celebrity, okay? So I feel like this person is a celebrity or star, big star, all right, or a scientist, they could be a physicist too. Sometimes the star card can also be a, a, um, an astronaut, but that's very rare in my readings, and we have the two of wands. It's definitely somebody um, from a different nationality than you, or they're very cultured, they may be uh, bilingual, okay? Or they speak multiple languages, or broken English, or something of that nature, all right? All right, so they are, I'm getting to, they could be, they could be, an, uh, they could be a healthcare provider, nurse, doctor, what else, the star card? Or a healer. Now they could be both a healer and an influencer, this is someone who has like a healing, a healing channel, or like maybe they have a channel about investing. This could be any, if they're a YouTuber, they could do any, they could do anything. They just, they're an influencer, but I'm getting, the star card is also someone who heals people, so they could be doing that. We have the page of wands, okay. I'm getting this person too, they also work with celebrities, they work with doctors, they work with very important people. So I'm getting this person themselves could be a celebrity and they work with celebrities or they work with influencers, healers, doctors, or they're just, this is what they do, they, they work with these people. All right, the page of wands, yeah. I feel like somebody worked with like, they work with athletes or actors or they work very close to them. All right, one more card here. But I feel like somebody's an entertainer, performer of some sort. All right, we have the 10 of cups, wow, yeah. They're really good at their jobs. Nine of cups coming out again. Some, I feel like somebody's a scholar here. Someone's a scholar or like a genius or, I'm not gonna say an educator, or like a musician. Yeah, I feel like this person does like a plethora of things. They could just be invested. They could be invested in all these businesses, these corporations. So this maybe they're invested in like something involving celebrities or the healthcare field or music, different types of things. They could also be into art as well. They could be an artist on the side. So I feel like some this person is multifaceted. They do they do like they do a lot of different things, okay? I'm getting, they're, very, they're, uh, they're definitely very artistic though, very creative with all the cups here, okay? This could be also to someone who's a creative consultant. They just give people ideas. They give creative ideas to people. Okay, let's see. How are you meeting them? Interesting. Or they help people discover their gifts or uncover their gifts. Or like their spirituality, something like that. Like I said, like an influencer. Very, they have incredible influence. Okay, the star. All right. Okay, so how are you meeting this person? Wow, the two of cups. All right. Okay, I need more, more information there. Okay. So I'm getting like you're meeting them at a meeting. Okay, literally. So I feel like I'm getting you could be meeting them at like the beach or somewhere in nature at the park. But I feel like I feel like your intention is not to meet them. You're there to meet someone else. All right, what's the two of cups? And you just you just happen to meet them like on a humbug. All right. Yeah, we have the justice card. Interesting. So they're I feel like they're in a relationship already. The three of swords, yes, this is an affair that's starting off already. So they're in a relationship. You may be in a relationship, relationship as well. 
All right, I'm actually getting to you. You were supposed to be meeting up with somebody else, but maybe that somebody else stood you up and you actually end up meeting this person. Like in the meantime, while you're sitting there waiting for another somebody else, you meet them and you guys actually hit it off. I'm getting, they are married though. That They're definitely married. I'm getting to, they just, they just recently had a kid or somebody's pregnant right now. All right, one more card here. I'm also getting to this person who is supposed to be doing like some legal work for you. This could also be a probation officer, but I feel like somebody's supposed to be helping you out legally or doing doing something for you. Or this is like somebody too you could have hired to actually help you with your relationship, like a relationship counselor, psychiatry, or something like that. And I feel like you guys actually fell in love. All right, or like a, a social worker, something like that. This is. This is somebody who, this is like hired help is what I'm getting. Somebody's supposed to be helping you like, I don't know, do shadow work, a counselor, or something like that. But I feel like you guys end up falling in love. You're going to end up falling in love with this person. Yeah, the hangman. Because somebody always hangs around. I feel like somebody, they're going to come, they come see you very frequently or this is you, or this is you, you know. You guys see each other around all the time. Maybe you guys work in the same building. You guys do the same thing. You guys say hi and bye every day, and then one day you guys stop to have an actual conversation. It goes very well. So I'm getting like I'm getting you get parlayed or you get stood up, and now you you end up meeting them. Like yeah, we have the star card coming out again. So somebody may invite you somewhere and they don't show up, and then you end up just seeing this celebrity or this star or this influencer. Like oh, don't I know you? Hi or blah blah blah. You may even end up telling them like yeah, somebody stood me up or blah blah blah, or maybe they got stood up too or something like that. Okay, so I'm getting. Okay, so that's kind of a cool encounter. All right, so you're going to meet them because you're actually supposed to be dating someone else. All right, so why are they approaching you? All right, what drew, what's drawing them to you? Why are they coming towards you? All right. So I'm getting they're coming towards you. First of all, they probably recognize you from, you know, YouTube or TV or whatever you do. Maybe they, they see you around. They, they, I've seen you before in this building. I saw you with my friend last time. I saw you at a concert, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm getting like, maybe you've seen them around. All right, so why are they coming towards you? What is attracting them to you? Okay, because they, the, the, they have the full card on their side, don't forget, all right? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, so you look like money, you're wealthy, you're affluent. Okay, so they're coming towards you because you're rich, or they think that you're rich, or they think that you're very established, or your family name, or you're very popular, the Ten of Pentacles. It could be so many reasons why they're coming towards you, but the main reason is because you have money, or you look like it, you look very wealthy, or you're very affluent. The Ten of Pentacles usually is somebody who has money. This is somebody who has a large bank account. Okay, they're very good with their money. They look like they got it, all right? And you got the bag, just period. What else? Why are they coming towards you? I'm also getting two. It's because you're older, or you act older. Okay, Damn, the lover's card again. This person, they have the hots for you. I feel like somebody, okay, this is a classic read. You no, know, somebody is turned on by power, money, prestige. All right. Yeah, the lover's card. Somebody's on you. Like, all right, I feel like they're really drawn to you. The lover's is coming out again. They just, I feel like you're, you're really sexy, but like you look rich or something like that. Or they, okay, let's see. One more card. <laughs> All right, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Ace of Cups. All right, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands is coming up inverted. I usually don't read inverted cards, and that usually does not happen in my reading, so I'm, we're going to take it for what it is. All right, I'm, getting, I'm also getting to your easy. You're easy going. Of course you are. You are a Libra, and you're easy to talk to. I'm getting somebody to have an attitude. They could be very feisty, or they could be very insecure. You know how to deal with that. You, you know, I'm getting you know how to temper them. All right, let's get something kinky about this person. All right, if you don't already know, let's get a kink card. Because I feel like this person, yeah, there's definitely sexual attraction, definitely, but I feel like it's not real heavy. I feel like it's more cerebral. The connection's more cerebral at first. All right, the lover's card. It's, it's about the, I feel like it's the way that you communicate. All right, let's see. I'm also getting to, it's something about your voice, Libra. All right, let's see. Let's get a key card for this, about this person. All right, we have motorboat. <laughs> Wow, so I feel like I feel like somebody here has big breasts that they they're top heavy. Or you have big titties, Libra. Like somebody likes your titties. I feel like somebody wants to motorboat your boobs. Or like I'm getting two. If you are around this person, they are so turned on by your breasts or by your body that they just they just stick their head in like your chest and see. Somebody just starts kissing your chest or kissing your tits or something like that. And then we have swinger. Okay, 
So this, I'm getting like somebody, they go both ways. I'm, I'm getting someone's definitely like a lesbian. They swing, they go both ways. All right, or they're in an open relationship. Okay, so I, I feel like they may not tell you this at first, or they might. Cause we, I did, I did see, you know, the, they, they, um, they are married or something like that. But I feel like they swing. All right. I feel like too, they, they could be trying to talk you into it. Let's get one more card. <laughs> we have titty twister. Wow, this, this person really likes titties. All right, they like they like big titties, or they like this person's always touching their breasts, or touching your breasts, or talking about your breasts. All right, or they're always kissing your chest, or something like that. I feel like somebody has like they have a they somebody loves boobies, they love tits. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I hope this helps you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.